We saw some encouraging things from Florida State on Saturday night with regards to young guys playing. There were some concerns as well, not only with some of the young guys, but with some of the elder statesmen, the, the veterans on this team, the guys who have been in this program for a long time. I want to chat with Richie about that in our video that's presented today by BetUS. So go ahead and check that out. On Saturday night, Florida State played a lot of young talent. Uh, I'll credit Brendan Sinone here of Knowles 247 because I saw him tweet this. 37% of FSU's offensive snaps came from underclassmen. 28% from true freshmen. 28% of the defensive snaps came from underclassmen. So, you know, the the free my youngins hashtag, right? That that people were, um, yeah, that the team was going off on. I appreciate the fact that they are moving to that somewhat. I think it's it's been time and it's certainly time now. You, you're not getting that performance out of the older guys. And listen, I'm not here to rail on anybody, but at the end of the day, a lot of these guys have like six games left in their FSU careers, right? Yeah. Or they're just careers in general. And if they're not getting it done, we talked about it in the last one. You you can't be loyal to a fault. Like, I don't mean this in like a terrible way, but I, I you know, I'm good not seeing 21 and one drop passes on my field anymore. Like I, I'm I'm good moving on from there. I'm yeah. good giving those reps to Moore and McCoy and Hakeem and Jakai. And I don't, you know, did Jalen Brown not play last night? Um, I, I didn't, I never saw him catch anything. I don't know if he was in or not, but Benson had a game. Yeah. Malik Benson. I'm fine with that. But the guys who continuously let you down, the guys who continuously just what, I don't know what, how, how do you get to be in this offense for five years and still drop passes? Like, I just, I don't, that I'm, I'm just, I'm good with it. Like I'm, I'm good moving on there. And I, I again, nothing's a personal shot at any specific player. It just, it's time to move on. I don't understand, and, and maybe they don't have a better option, right? Like, you know, Rizzy probably backing him up. I, I'm I'm probably good on seeing another bad snap ever again at Florida State. Like, if you can't snap the ball, and maybe he was having a bad day, I don't know. If you can't snap the ball, I you're not going to be here next year anyway. We need to move to youth. So yeah. I appreciate the fact that we have played a lot of youth. I think we need to go to that even more fully, especially Richie with the bye week coming up. You have two weeks to kind of get ready to do that. Um, but it's the veterans on this team and the young guys are going to make young guy mistakes. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I'd rather have them making mistakes than the guys that are four yes. and five years in this yes. system. It, it is time. You know, and then and, and, and to, to the, to the staff, staff's credit, right? Like 38% of one, 27% of the other, like it's about a third. It's not like they're just, and, and there are upperclassmen that are playing well, like Jakai and, and, and obviously your, your defensive line is at times playing really well. Your secondary is fine. Um, but I, I do think that it's time to go to a lot more young guys because you've seen so much better out of them. And, uh, I, you know, again, I don't know. I'm done with the drops. I'm done with the bad snaps. I, yeah. And, you know, I, I'm not even really blaming those guys. I think both of those are, you know, probably on development, right? Like, I, I think some of the worst developers on the on the team are their coaches. Um, but still, like, it's, it's just time to move on. And it's time to continue that youth movement and getting even more of those young guys in. Florida State is on a bye this week, but that does not mean that you cannot go to BetUS right now and bet on what I think is the best weekend of college football. Listen, Ohio State and Oregon, the Red River rivalry, LSU uh, and Ole Miss, a ton, a ton of really good football. After a week of chaos last week, you are going to want to be betting on the games this weekend. Using our code YouTube150, you can get a 150% sign up bonus with BetUS on your first deposit. Your next two deposits, you get a 125% bonus. It's not just a one time thing. You get them on your first three bonuses from BetUS. You will not want to miss out on that. All of that up to like 2K. Make sure that you're betting with BetUS using our code YouTube150. Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. Uh, um... You're one in five, and I know Mike Norville in his the back of his mind, he's probably thinking, we can still make a bowl. Dude, you're not making a bowl game this year. This, this team is a three to four on a really, really good couple of weeks. You might be a five-win team. It's not happening. So why are we doing this? Let's get the future ready. Let's get these young guys prepared and – it's frustrating, you know, as a fan that we have to watch this product every Saturday 
because it's disgusting. And and we'll talk about that when we talk about Trey's rant, um, where where he's very accurate. But man, just move forward. Get ready for the future. This season is done. And the sooner Mike Norvell can accept that this season is over, the better that this program will be moving forward. We talked about this, but it, it certainly is a little bit frustrating that um, not only that it's older guys, but it's it's positions that like you've recruited f- recruited fairly well. Like yeah. offensive line and wide receiver are probably the most disappointing to me. And I don't think anybody thought that like, you know, again, Seminole legend, I understand he won a championship. This is not a personal attack. Probably a great guy. I feel like you have to preface that every time you you are critical of anybody yeah. ever. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm never, I'm not, I'm never taking any personal shots at any guys on here. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know any of these guys like that, you know? So, but anyway, you know, you've recruited wide receiver fairly well. You've had a lot of talent in there. I know Destin got hurt this year, but you brought Hakeem in. You, you've brought a lot of four stars in over the years. You've, you've done a really good job at that position in recruiting and you just haven't been able to develop. Like you just haven't been able to like, when was the last time we had a first rounder? I mean, Key almost close, right? But I don't know how much we get credit for that. We just kind of brought him in last second. I, the yeah. development at that position is not good. And let's be very fair, too. I know that a lot of people went to bat for Alex Atkins, and they love Alex Atkins because he's a great guy, and he's so much fun, and he's young and hip and cool, all those things. And he's recruited very, very well. What has he done with any of his recruits, man? Like, you know, there's a standard Nothing. here. This yeah. is Florida State, you know, and and you just have to be better. You just need to be better at developing talent. And at the end of the day, they're not doing it. And 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 I do think that, you know, the guys at and, and you could talk about other things too. Like, has quarterback development been great at Florida State? Probably not, right? D line's done pretty well. You know, linebacker. I mean, Randy hasn't brought in a quality linebacker like ever. So that's a tough one to even judge and, and defensive back development has been pretty good. So, you know, there is development happening other places, but man, some of the worst that there is, 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 you know, wide receiver and offensive line. And they're the guys that seem to have let you down the most last night or, you know, on Saturday night. And so that's certainly where the focus is. But to me, it's not even, I'm not even blaming those kids or those guys, right? Like people hate when you say kids now because they're getting paid, but they're all still younger than me. So whatever. Um, they're making yeah, more than us, TJ. Yeah, I, I'm not even blaming the players. I just, I don't think they've been set up for success. I don't think they've been developed very well. And unfortunately, they're like the best option you have. But again, that's why I think it's time to just go to the young guys. Like it's time to move on and just get yeah. going because it's been, man, it is so frustrating to watch a guy that's been in the system for five years snap a ball over a quarterback's head when he's driving you down the field against the best defense you're going to play all year. Down two scores, you're worried about the team quitting, you're worried about the team checking out, you're worried about the team not playing hard, and you've got a freshman driving you down, and you got a center that snaps the ball over his head. And you're just yeah, like, no. dog, how? How is that a real-life thing? No, but it, it makes no sense. And Again, I, I cannot give enough kudos to Brock Glenn. He was put into... <laughs> an unbelievable situation like no quarterback should be thrown into that and the way he handled it i'll go back i'm gonna try and stay positive here but man the the way brock glenn handled the situation that he was given um even behind a bad offensive line and uh, you know receivers and tight ends dropping the ball he just showed up and did what he had to do I truly do believe Brock Glenn is the quarterback of the future for Florida State. Yeah, I, you know, hopefully we can we can develop that one fairly yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, same thing. It, it was so telling, too, because you had back-to-back plays. And I know the holding oh, yeah. was on one of them. But you had the pass down to, you know, uh, Kentron dropped. Hold, thank God the holding wiped it out, you know, because you got to do that play over again. I'll I would have been so mad if there was not a hold. Oh my gosh, that was on the would, money. That was on oh, the money, TJ. How? <laughs> I, oh how, how? How sad is it that you get happy about a hold because it erases a drop? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> um, and then the very next play, you throw one deep to you, you. You throw you overcome the holding. Like you overcome the holding and Williamson drops it like back to back plays of drops. I was, you know, again, you, you had the best quarterback grade. You've had PFF the entire year and your wide receivers had their worst grade of the year. Right. So yeah. frustrating, frustrating to see for sure. Hey, if you guys are, 
if you guys are watching live, if you're here with us, please do me a favor. Just hit that subscribe button. I know we have hate watchers. I know we have hate listeners. We appreciate you guys too. But just hit the subscribe button. I saw my buddy, uh, Sports Talk Jay, big Tennessee fan, said it doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out. So do that. If you hate us, then maybe you won't do it. But um, if you really hate us, then you can prove me wrong by doing it. So either way, hit the subscribe button. So. So let us know your thoughts. What do you think about the youth? Should Florida State continue to integrate more? Should they go way faster to that? Again, you got the bye week built in. So probably a good time to get more and more of those guys installed. We appreciate BetUS for their support. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. And as always, go Knowles.